It's been a long time since we've had a Cummins 4BT on our dyno. Today we're going to play with one. It's going to be awesome. The truck you see here was sent to us by Diesel Conversion Specialists. These guys, uh, they make kits to put Cummins six cylinders, four cylinders, and all kinds of different vehicles. And they sent this 4BT powered F-150 here to us to kind of get a little power package. They need a little more power out of it. They want to be able to offer their customers some upgrades. And so we got this, we've had this truck for a while, playing around with different combinations, trying to figure out what works really good on this truck. And uh, <clears throat> the first is really a dog. I mean, the power is atrocious, it's terrible. And so we actually ended up doing a whole host of things. First off is we did injectors, but even that wasn't enough. We ended up taking the VE pump off and we modified it and we maxed it, balanced it, did everything we could within reason, something that would be good on a street truck uh, to make it flow more. We ended up flowing 230 cc's out of this guy. And that's a pretty low number in the P-pump world. Um, in the P-pump world, basically, people calculate 1.5 horsepower per cc. So if you had 230 cc's, you would think, okay, this is a 300 and, what's that, 25 horsepower engine. But that's on a six cylinder, this is a four cylinder, so you only get 66% of that, two thirds. So that actually puts this horsepower potential in that math around 227, best case, best case scenario. To get that best case scenario pump, you gotta be a little aggressive with your tuning. Uh, in the P pump world, you have a lot more RPM than you have in this pump here. We have a 3000 governor spring kit in this, but uh, it defuels well before then. There's nothing we can do to fix that. So this thing reaches 230 cc's at 1500 RPM, and at 2000 RPM, it's still at 230 cc's, but by 2500 RPM, it's down to 200 cc's. So with it, with it laying over that fast, you're just not gonna make power 2500, 3000 RPM. Your peak power in these VE pump trucks is being around between 2000 and 2300 RPM usually is gonna be your peak power, which is a little bit lower than you'd see on a, on a turned up P pump truck. So with that lower RPM potential, it also hurts your peak power potential. So what can we do with this? The goal in this is to double the power of a 4BT VE pump. Diesel power conversions, they just wanted a good kit, but I want to double the power. So what does that mean? When I got this truck here, it had already been modified from somebody, either the original owner of this truck or diesel conversion specialist did something, but it was not stock. So I can't give you a baseline run. So I went to the internet and did some research and this engine came from the factory, about 105 horsepower crank. So if you take your typical 20% loss, which we typically see on this dyno, that puts this thing about 80 horsepower to the ground. Uh, this engine was offered in power ranges though up to 150 horsepower. I don't know what this one came as, but that'd be up to 150 horsepower. So if you, that one would be to the ground, should be around 120. So you need about 240 horsepower to double that engine. So I don't know where we're gonna end fall, at, fall in that power range, but we're gonna find out. So quickly, what did we do to this truck? What have we done? So first thing we did is we, we took the pump off and we, and we modified it. We souped it up, 3K kit, the fuel pan, maxed out what we could, and that made a big difference. We also got a set of injectors in here. This is a, a five by 12 injector, which is not overly huge. It's a good towing injector, uh, can support some decent horsepower though. So it's a, it's a pretty big upgrade from stock. So we have that going as well. Also, we were really, really dissatisfied with the stock turbocharger. Did not work, didn't make boost. I don't know if it was hurt or something. I couldn't see it was hurt, but it just, this is terrible. So we actually have a ball bearing unit on here now. It's a very affordable ball bearing unit and uh, it spools up much quicker, makes more boost. It's a much funner truck to drive with this turbo on here. So with these three items, it really woke this truck up. It feels, I don't know how fast it feels. I don't know how much this truck weighs. I don't, I can't tell you driving it, but it's fun to drive. It's easy to drive on the street. It's peppy, um, cruising the freeway, no problem. So it's a pretty fun little truck. It's no powerhouse by any means, but it's still a good truck. We're gonna find out right now what we get. We're gonna load on the dyno. We're gonna load on the dyno. We're gonna start it and uh, let's see where she goes.
take a look here. So the power, max power with this uncorrected was 170.3 at 2390 RPM. Actually, actually higher than I thought it would be. But that's pretty cool. So 2390 RPM, 170 horsepower, 438 foot-pounds of torque, uncorrected. Um, we're at pretty high altitude, so the correction number is big, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so if this was a 105 horsepower engine, we did double the power in theory. We figure if it's 80 to the ground, we did 160 to the ground. So we did 170. If it was a higher model, then we did not double it. Um, so there's things I would still consider doing to this truck that I could get more power out of it if that was your goal. Um, the intercooler on this truck is a little bit too small. It's, it's, it's made for not the pressure ratio, the, the boost we're putting into it. I'm seeing about 28, 29 pounds of boost. I think it, if it had a little bit more intercooler, it would help. You'd probably pick up a little power there. We could run a bigger injector. That would get the fuel in faster, hard, and probably get some power there. But at the end of the day, the goal of this truck with these guys is they want something that runs really good. Uh, it's fun to drive. It's not smoky. They don't want to be a big smoke show on the street. And they want good mileage, and this, this will do it. So... You know, depending on your dyno, this is going to be around 430 to, I mean, you can get 500 foot-pounds of torque on somebody's dyno, but figure 440 is a pretty realistic to the ground, not to the crank. That's pretty good. That's bigger than, that's better than an old big block Chevy was. That's pretty neat. And, um, yeah, so 4BT, VE pump, really, really limiting in power potential, but the fuel economy is awesome, and actually this truck's pretty fun to drive around, so... Well, there you have it. That's your 4BT uh, VE powered truck. Thanks for watching. Hope it was informational. Hope you learned something. Uh, please subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.